Are you prescribed it? Yes. Since third, fourth grade. What were the f- symptoms that brought you to the doctor? How do you know if you really have it? I was kind of fine before. Do you feel like it gives people a mental advantage? I'm taking them because my parents want me to. Hey, I'm Andrew Hales. We're at Belmont today. We're going to ask people about Adderall and whatnot. Um, please uh, take your hands on that like button's head and... Hey guys, real quick, this video is brought to you by Raycon. I've been using these earbuds for the last few months. They're great, especially like the uh, the bass setting it has. And you have the awareness mode on and off, and I, I always have it off because I just wanna feel like I'm like in a room with speakers and it does feel like that, so it's really nice. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. I hate to be like cliche, but Smartless, I'm thinking of Smartless. I listen to that almost every week. They just had Steven Spielberg on. Really easy to put in, you know? You, you put them in and you, it, it's real snug and hidden. They're very small, so that's nice. Um, especially if you're wearing a beanie, you know? Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. They're priced just right. You get the quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. They're very sweat and water resistant. If you get some Raycons today, you'll help support the channel. Go to my link in the description, buyraycon.com slash loft and you'll get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Here's the video, thank you. Brody, uh, you ever taken Adderall? Uh, I take Vyvanse. How long you been taking that? Since third, fourth grade. What were the first symptoms in third or fourth grade that your parents diagnosed or? Uh, I was just a crazy kid, crazy ADHD. Just like always moving, always thinking about something I'm not supposed to be. All right, so. About 10 years then, you've been taking it every day? Yeah. Uh, Not every day so much anymore. It's more just like when there's a lot to be done at this point. Have you ever wondered if ADHD is kind of a made-up condition? Mm, Not not really, because I know how much the the medicine helps me, so. All right. Do you feel like you'll take it as needed the rest of your life? Mm, Probably. Probably, maybe in smaller doses, but. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Connor, you ever taken Adderall? Uh, yeah, medically pre- or prescribed or whatever. Yeah. Uh, what are you on it now? No, not anymore. How come? Uh, I don't know. I can never sleep on it. So I gotta stop using it. How long? How long did you take it for? A couple months. Couple months. Oh, all right. Like high school. I just got off it really quick. But yeah. yeah, but you got prescribed it? Yeah. And so, and so you kind of you deal with the ADD like how? I kind of just deal with it, man. Yeah, I kind of just, <laughs> kind of just do it. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel like it's kind of a made-up condition at all, by big pharma? I mean, I think everyone's got a condition. They yeah. just don't all have names, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess it's a real thing, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. bother me all that much. Do uh, you feel like it gives people a mental advantage? Yeah, Adderall? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Gave me a huge advantage in sports, watching film all the time, yeah. Wow. Like what, what sport? Hockey. Hockey. Yeah. No, very nice. Go Predators. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're Bruins? Yeah, from Boston, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank All you. Right, cool, dude. Have a nice day, bro. Lilia? Yes. You ever taken Adderall? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Are you prescribed it? Yes. How, how many, uh, when were you diagnosed? Um, Like two years ago, I think. I got diagnosed kind of late because I didn't... Um, I don't know. I just didn't realize I had it early on. <laughs> Do you uh, you feel like ADD, ADHD might be a made-up condition, Big Pharma made-up? No. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I think it's real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What uh, what were the symptoms, or how did you get prescribed it? Um, I just realized that I, like, it was really hard for me to focus a lot, like, especially in classes, especially since getting to college, it was harder, too. And, um, I don't know, that was the big thing, I guess. Just, not, it was really hard to focus. You want it right now? Yes. Oh, well, not today, but not right now. <laughs> so you take it as needed? Yeah, I just take it on, like, days that I have a lot of stuff to do. You, you notice, uh, what are some side effects that you notice? Um, when, like, when, when you I'm are on it? it, yeah. Um... I think, I mean, sometimes I just get, like, really, like, just, like, zoned out. Like, because I'm so focused on, like, what I'm doing that I'm not thinking about anything else. That's probably the biggest thing. But. All right. Um, <laughs> you feel like it's uh, unhealthy for your brain at all? 
Um, I mean, maybe. I don't really know. <laughs> I hope not. What's your What's your major? What are you studying? I'm in fashion design. Very nice. Um, what uh, What do you want to You want to work for um, Devil? The Devil wears Prada. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to design somewhere, like after school. Cool. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Tegan, you ever tried Adderall? Um, I was prescribed it once. How How old were you? I think middle school. All right. What? And you don't take it anymore? No, I take methylphenidate. Oh, what's that? It's like Adderall. No, it's not Adderall. It's like one step lower than Adderall. It's like Vyvanse or something? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's a different, it's a cousin of it. Sure, yeah. Uh, so you you were diagnosed in middle school. Do you you, um, you ever wondered if you if it's just a made up disease? Honestly, okay. So I went off my medication for three months, and I was actually like the best. I felt like the best I've ever felt without it. But my grades did suffer, but not because I was off of it. It was because I was fooling around, you know, partying for a semester. Um, but now my parents are making me go back on it. So we'll see how that works, but I honestly think that medications, you don't need them. Yeah. Okay, so you're taking, you're taking them so that your grades stay stable. I'm taking them because my parents want me to. Okay. How, how, what uh, grade are you in, in, in uh, college? I'm a second semester freshman. And this, this uh, three-month hiatus from medication was like last year or whatever? Yes. And you said you're happier you've ever been. It's probably, why do you think that is? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I just tested it and I was like, listen, this is so much better for me. I even told my parents, I was like, yeah, I've been off my medication for a bit and I've been the best I've ever been. But now we're going back on it. So we'll see how that works. So you're on it right now? Uh, yes. Do you, uh, all right, you feel like you'll take it the rest of your life? Probably not. Definitely uh, not. Definitely not. All right. And do you feel like a different person when you're on it and off it? Like, um, how, like, and, and how so? I don't know. I feel like I'm, like, being forced to honestly focus, and I don't like it. Like, I also feel like a zombie on it, but I guess it's just something you got to... I have to know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's about it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. You ever tried Adderall? Okay. Uh, yeah, I have. Are you prescribed it? I was, but I'm not anymore. So. How come? Um, it just kind of made me like super anxious all the time, um, and I like relied way too heavily on it. Uh, but I took it for like two years, and but I'm off now, so. All right, so how do you manage your ADD symptoms or whatever? Um, I don't know, I drink a lot of coffee, okay. um, but I don't know. I think I went like 18 years without taking it, and I think I was kind of fine before, and I realized that like Adderall was like, it just made me better at what I did, but then after I took it, like school and everything, but after I took it for super long, it like didn't work as well, so... I don't know. Now that I'm off it for like a year, I feel like the same I did before. Like I feel completely normal, honestly. You ever wondered if like ADD, ADHD is a marketing ploy from Big Pharma, like a made-up condition? ADHD? Yeah. Um, maybe like a little, but I mean, people definitely can have it. But I think it might be over, uh, not overprescribed, but over like diagnosed yeah yeah it's yeah i guess it's all gray like it's how can like because everyone daydreams how do you know if you like you're supposed to take it or not you know yeah i have no idea uh yeah, yeah I, I don't know all right um you're a lot happier without it now a lot yeah at least now i am at first it was really hard like the first month or so it sucked but now I feel completely much more like myself. Very nice. Cannon, have you ever taken Adderall? I have not. Do you feel like you ever will? No. 
you feel like ADD, ADHD is a marketing ploy Big Pharma made up? No, definitely not. I just think, um, I think as a child, I know they, like, if you're acting up in class, they'll just, like, tell your parents and they'll just pump you with Adderall from a young age, and I don't think that's right. All right, so people should be older before they're diagnosed? At least, you know, and I think it's up to everybody to do what they want, but yeah. me personally, I just think for kids, let them grow more before you're pumping them with that. Yeah. You have any friends that take it? I do. Do you, do you feel like it helps them? I do, yes. <clears throat> and do you notice a difference when they're on it or off it? Oh, absolutely. If they're off it, they're miserable. Really? Yeah. Yeah, if they've been taking it for a while and then they're off of it. Unless, like, in certain, like, circumstances there are some people that they hate it and they say it makes them feel like a robot so I guess it just depends on who you are you know you never been tempted to try do you feel like it gives people a mental advantage I think so yeah depending you know it's kind of like steroids for your brain maybe yeah <laughs> uh, yeah do you know any people that kind of abuse it and they don't they're not prescribed it um no, not really. I know a few people that have taken, like, their friends just to try it, but nobody that really is abusing it. All right. Jay, you ever taken Adderall? Uh, no, but I do take another stimulant. Oh, uh, Vivant what? Uh, Ritalin. All right, how long have you been taking that? Ooh, about a year. Okay, so you were diagnosed recently? Yes, with ADHD. What were the symptoms that brought you to the doctor? Um, I... Had no sense of time, could not bring myself to focus or, you know, just no, very bad executive function. Very bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you feel like it's been helping you? Um, it feels like you're being forced to actually stand up straight for the first time in your life. Uh, and it does really help. All right. So you feel like you'll take it the rest of your life? Probably. Or at least, yeah. All right. Do, do you feel like it gives you a mental advantage? I don't think it's an advantage. I think it's evening the playing field. Cool. Uh, and, you, and you feel like ADD is a real condition? Yeah. Did you get good grades before it in, in high school? Uh, yeah, I did super well in high school, and I still do well in college. It was just getting to that point was so much more work than it, for me than it was for everybody else. How can someone know if they should take it or not? Or get diagnosed with ADD or, or if something's harder, you know? Um... Like, how, like how does someone know? I mean, if it's causing you, like, a problem and you think that things would be easier for you or, like, you would be able to enjoy your life more by taking it, then I would say do it. I mean, it's, finding the right medication for me has not been easy. I've taken some that had some really bad side effects for me. But now that I've found the one, I feel like, I don't know, if it helps you, it helps you. And if you feel like you need that help, fine. Dope. What's uh, what's your major? Uh, fashion design. Devin, have you ever taken Adderall? Personally, I have not. Have you ever been tempted to? Do you think you'll ever take Adderall in the future? Honestly, not at the moment. It's not really on my mind to whatsoever. Um, but I personally would not like to, so hopefully not. <laughs> Why do you say that? Um, because I personally do not have ADHD, and at least I was not diagnosed with it. So I know that that is a prescri prescribed medication to certain people, and I personally don't want to abuse it. Have you met anyone that does have it? Actually, yeah, I have a few friends that have like have it and take it, and it helps them personally when they're off of it. It they're kind of everywhere sometimes, but you know they're right. still amazing people. But <laughs> they think that it does help them, if I would say that. So. Okay, and you agree that it does help them? Yes, I do. Kate, have you ever tried Adderall? I have not. Uh, do you think you'll ever try it in the future? I am curious about it. Okay, you, f you feel like you might have ADD or ADHD? Very high possibility. Why do you say that? Just my experiences so far. Don't think my brain's wired correctly. Okay. Have you been to a doctor about it yet? Not yet. It's something I'm working on right now, actually. Do you feel like uh, it's it's a real condition? Like um, it's not just big pharma made it, you know? So, like it's a it's not like a marketing ploy or. I haven't thought of it in that way. No. It's just it's gray, right? You know. So how do you how can you tell if someone really does have ADD or not? <laughs> 
I, it's hard to tell. I don't know. I think just some people's brains work in different ways. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you know, any, do you have any friends that, uh, take Adderall? I do. Does it help them? Yeah. You don't, uh, have you seen them on and off it and noticed the difference at all? Yeah. What, what's the difference? Um, I have friends who, my friend, he's more focused whenever he takes it. Um, when he doesn't take it, um, his brain's in too many places at once, can't focus, can't get things done, things like that. Hmm. Emma, you ever taken Adderall? No, I have not. You think you ever will in the future? If I get diagnosed with ADHD, I suppose. Well, I guess, uh, how do you know if you really have it? Uh, everyone daydreams you know yeah it's true i hear it's under diagnosed in women so i guess i could uh i thought i've had it before but i don't know it's not worth getting a trying to get a diagnosis in my opinion. uh it's under diagnosed why do, how do you know how do you how do you know that i don't know statistics the internet you name it interesting um okay so you don't you don't feel like it's a made-up condition at all by big pharma i don't Although, I am suspicious of them generally. Yeah. Just because they're out there for money, so, you know. Yeah, of course. Surprise me. All right. Uh, have you taken Adderall before? No, I've not. Never, ever. Uh, so, you might get a diagnosis soon. Do you feel like it's giving people an edge up that don't have ADD? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think so, yeah. I mean, <laughs> like it's, it's hard like to contra- concentrate in general. So, you know, if you get medicine, that'll help with that, of course. Yeah. And you feel, but you feel it's, like, unhealthy, though, a little bit? What do you... I guess uh, unhealthy for the brain. Oh, to take something that you don't need? Absolutely. Yeah. Or need. I guess either or. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I do think so. All right. Um, I think I've asked everything. <laughs> what? Uh, Adderall. Do you, you know any people that take it? I do, yeah. Do you feel like it helps them? I feel like it puts them on the same level as people who don't take it. The people that I know that take it, I think genuinely need it. All right. So you don't feel like it causes more problems? I don't know. I, I don't take it. I don't talk to them about their side effects. So I really don't know. Um, do you notice like a difference in their personality when they take it and they're not taking it? No, not the people I know. But I know that can be a thing. All right. So have you ever taken Adderall? No. Uh, would you ever in the future? Um, if I get diagnosed with ADHD, but otherwise, no. Do you feel like it's uh, ADD is a real condition? Uh, yeah, my sister has it, so she's been on it for like a year and a half now. All right. How old is she? She's 16. What uh, What were her symptoms like? How do you like everyone daydreams? How do you kind of how can you tell if someone has ADD or not? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I guess that's more of a her question. But since childhood, she just kind of hasn't been the most attentive person in the world she's never able to like sit down and watch movies she can't really have a conversation that lasts more than like five minutes so it's been tough for her to kind of maintain relationships a little bit because of that so since then she's been you know in tutoring on her meds with therapy and I think it's helped her a lot all right um do you feel like um do you know anyone that takes it that isn't prescribed it um occasionally not regularly but I've seen it before do you feel like it gives them a mental advantage um not a mental What's advantage, it? I would say. I mean, more of, I think they take it more recreationally, not necessarily for the positive benefits of it. All right. Um, yeah, that's about it. I appreciate Can you kickflip? Uh, not yet, but we're working <laughs> on it. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please let us know what you think in the comments. Do you feel like ADD is a real condition? <laughs> or a marketing ploy by Big Pharma? Let us know your experience about... Adderall or Vyvanse or Ritalin or Concerta. Um, let us know um, your personality changes. If it gives you, you feel like it, it, if you feel like it's cheating, maybe um, gives you a mental advantage. As for me, yeah, I don't know. I'll probably always take it <laughs> as needed. But I I feel like it helps. Oh, yeah, I've already talked about this, too. Just type in the problem with Adderall or <laughs> um, King of Awkward, a film about Adderall. This will probably be the last thing I, I talk about <laughs> Adderall on this channel. I think my Wikipedia page has a whole section on Adderall, even. 
I don't know who wrote my Wikipedia page too. All right.